So I just got back from dropping Kika off at the airport and I gotta say I'm actually pretty excited. Uh, not because she's gone, that actually makes me pretty sad. But because while she's gone for two weeks visiting family, I'm gonna be working on a little bit of a surprise for her when she gets back. <laughs> All right guys, here's the plan. About a year ago, Kika came up with these concept sketches for what she thinks the inside of our boat should look like. So I've got two weeks to try to turn this into something that resembles this. The only problem is we're on the hook, which means no shore power and all we have to transport materials in is the dinghy and Home Depot is about a two mile walk. So the trick is gonna be disassembling what we've got already in the boat and using the materials from that to transform our boat into something that looks like this. And since we're on the hook, it means no shore power and we get a lot of power from our solar panels but we only have a 300 watt inverter, which means the only power tools I get to use are gonna be the orbital sander and my cordless drill. So it looks like I'm gonna be doing a lot of hand sawing. a bit of a traffic jam on the river. Uh, well, I came up the Miami River hoping to make it to the flooring store, uh, and then I ran into that. Right here. Apparently there's a dam uh, about five miles up the Miami River, and I needed to get about 10 miles up the Miami River. So now I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do. Uh, maybe take the bus? It's also uh, right by the Miami airport. Okay, so the last 45 minutes are in desperate need of explanation. Uh, I was at Floor and Decor, um, trying to buy bamboo to put in our boat and the guy there convinced me that bamboo was a bad idea because it would warp in the humidity. So um, he showed me vinyl, uh, luxury vinyl, uh, which actually looks really really good. It has texture to it and it doesn't look like that old stuff you see in 1970s RVs. So I ended up buying it and then thought I'd get an Uber back to the boat, back to the dinghy. I couldn't get the app to work from the iPad, because I needed to confirm my cell phone number or something. So when I was walking back to Florent Decor to get just a normal cab back to the dinghy, um, the guy leaving the store turned out to be an Uber driver who had just purchased the same vinyl flooring for his boat. So I, told, I explained my situation and he ended up just giving me a ride back to the marine store just because he was a nice guy. So that worked out beautifully. So we're heading back with flooring in hand. So when you cut vinyl it leaves this little ridge. It's kind of hard to see. There it is. A little bit of a ridge there where the vinyl kind of bumps up. So to cover this up and to make it look a little bit more like real wood, uh, I've been trimming the edge down with an X-Acto knife. 
just kind of mitering it at like 45 degrees. And then since the edge is gray, this is a nice dark brown, take a Sharpie and you color the edge of it black. So it starts to look a little bit more like real wood. And then when you put it in place, It looks pretty good. You can see here where I haven't uh, colored the edge. You can see it's very gray and very noticeable. And then here where the edge is colored, it just kind of looks like it should. pretty excited today I got this in the mail this is gonna be our new salon table Alright guys, that's it. Two weeks is come and gone. I am about to head to the airport to pick up Kika and uh, I'm really excited to show her what I've done in the last two weeks. I think she's really gonna like it. Welcome back. Why are you wearing a blindfold? I don't know. Do you want to go down the stairs? Can you do that with a blindfold on? Without falling off the boat? Without falling off the boat. you're gonna have to wait for the surprise until next week. Sleep. <laughs> so I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs>